Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a quick, uh, I guess, tutorial on script hook V. So it's mostly a dependency on uh, getting a lot of your scripts to work. So we've been adding it in tutorials, but I feel like we probably need to do its own tutorial. So we're going to get right into it. So the first thing we're going to... All the links are going to be included in the description. You're going to go to uh, GTA 5 mods. And then you're going to go to script hook V plus native trainer 1.0.2845.0. Probably don't have to remember a lot of that. But it's good to know that you're aware of what version. Um, so here. I'm gonna go to download it's gonna open up the AB software development this was down a few weeks ago but looks like they've resolved their issues and uh, the website is working again so go down to the bottom click download and now we'll move on to community script hook V and again link will be in description GTA 5 mods.com again and here you're going to want to download the and take you to github you're going to scroll all the way down under downloads rebuild binaries can be found on the releases page all right this is where you want to go to you need to use the asi file and the dll files for the apis and archive of the same version as internal structure can be changed without notices all right so here we're going to go to releases the latest release is from december 29 and it's version 3.6.0 the bottom of this download the zip and we'll see you in a second All right, hopefully you got those files downloaded. And here's my script hook. It's pretty basic. It's a lot of a lot of stuff that probably goes over your head, but really what you need is the dnput 8.dll and the script hook v.dll. You can probably ignore the native trainer ASI cuz you might be using trainer V or menu or some other sort of trainer. Um, if you don't have one, you could use it. So I'm not gonna tell you can't, but we don't really need open IV today. So we're just gonna do drag and drop. I already have these files. So it's just gonna throw a warning. Don't really need to. Um, same for you guys as well. If you have an older version already installed and you drag and drop, it'll ask you uh, to replace. Now being that if I was working in the same directory, I would probably copy and then paste over here. So like I would copy control C or you can, you can right click you get a copy and over here you want to paste um, I like doing that especially if you're on the same directory because it'll just copy the files over there so it's always good to keep duplicates keep backups in case something goes crazy if GTA up, uh, updates and it screws around with your files you never know um, all right, so that's quick and dirty one. Now we'll go to scriptvnet. All right, so this one you're gonna have your ASI, your DLL, and your DLL. Those are gonna be your main primary files that uh, you're gonna need. You can use the INI, you can use XMLs. It's not gonna kill you if they're there. Some people prefer not to have them. Um, I have them in mine. 
So it doesn't really change the game much. It doesn't add more frames or do any wonkiness to your game. So it's uh, your prerogative. I do like having the INI though, because it has the reload console, which surprisingly I use a lot because I test a lot of different scripts that uh, I could reload in game with the F4 key. So super useful to remember. So basically you just kind of drag drop these. And again, I already have them. So it's going to throw a warning place. I really need to because I already have them. But they're basically right here. So. And that's pretty much it. Like it's an easy breezy uh, tutorial. I hope you guys have a good one and uh, enjoy your week.